right now, Fowl. I think you should be called the Parfessor because all this do young man does is rack up par. Parfessor. I love that actually. Dude, oh, oh, he's the Parfessor. He's the Parfessor. Let's go. And if you're looking for collaborations, try and reach out. We reach out to everybody. Everybody. Now we're relying on you in Reno to bring us the top golf courses based on an update video that we're going to do. Yeah, we're going to come back in a celebration of golf moments. So let's take a look at the top four courses I was able to find. And this is an independent golf channel where we rely on the comments down below to build and get better. Sierra Saga Golf Course. This is at 4.6 out of 5 with 391 golf reviews to look at. Now the course stretches along 6,955 yards with a slope of 126 and a rating of 70. This municipal course was built in 1960. It has bluegrass greens and ryegrass fairways. It's considered to be a top golf destination for most golfers within the area. It's important to note that golf is a game of misses. We're going to get things right and we're going to get things wrong along the way. So we do rely on the comments down below on what your top golf courses are in the area. And if you have any other additional information, sometimes your superintendents, different types of golfers from all over the world that are involved in the comments down below and we love that so now let's go take a look at now the top three golf courses we were able to find in reno so swinging in to number three wild creek golf course with a 4.2 out of 5 and 288 golf reviews to choose from this course is considered to be one of the favorite golf courses for tourists swinging through and slapping it around and throwing some dice around Reno. Why? Because it stretches along 6,932 yards. It was built in 1987 by Dick Phillips and Brand Benz. It's open year-round and has a slope of 133 and a rating of 72.5. It's an insanely nice golf course, but it's going to consistently make this list a little bit faster and fun as we break into the top two golf courses reno has an amazing amount of golf i did play with course in carson city and we did a top golf courses in that area so if you're thinking about that area too take a look at our list there let's swing on in to lake ridge golf course at number two with a 4.4 4 out of 5 on google this course has 418 golf reviews to choose from is a semi-private course, but it does offer public play. It's about $65 to play the course. It's 6,903 yards from those back tees with a slope of 129 and a rating of 70.8. This part 72 might be the best destination for new golfers trying to get a little bit better. It's a Robert Trent Jones senior design course and junior was involved too the family business came together here in the sons of nevada and got it together and put a great golf course it's open year round and it's just about 4.5 miles from downtown also near the airport it's considered one of the top popular golf courses for the last 50 years and the tee boxes range from 5,000 to 6,000 yards. We love Robert Trent Jones courses, and if you keep track of our channel, we consistently play them, at least on the East Coast, and rest assured, we've played all over. We started this channel over in Vegas, and we've been playing golf ever since. So if you like golf and you're thinking about switching it up on a golf channel, this might be the place for you. Let's swing on in to Wolf Run Golf Club. Now, it's not Wolf Creek, but it's fun, just like it. It's a 4.3 out of 5 with 244 golf reviews to choose from. So, there's a good amount. The course itself, well, it's got amazing views, which is a long 7,100 yards with a slope of 130 and a rating of 72.6. This part, 72, was built in 1998 by John Fleming. 
Well, I tell you what, I think there's all winners on this list. This course also has a driving range in the Wolf Run Golf Academy. If you've made it this far, keep a lookout for more videos to come as we consistently bring you top golf around the world. Golf is a game of misses, and we might not have got it perfect. So write down in the comment section what you liked and what you didn't like. This is the Parfessor.